Hi. In today's video, we are going to discuss about uh, what are the different uh, methods we use in Java usually. So there are different type of uh, methods which normally we use in Java. Here are as follows. The first one is of uh, modifier type, which wherein the void is the first method which normally uh, we use. This void method, majorly the description where we need to add the property changes when there is any kind of changes in reference to the properties we want to make. So for that, generally this uh, void, this statement will be mentioned, right? Whatever the method are we going to use will be mentioned over there, right? This is where generally we have to mention about add property change listener is what it is. Next modifier uh, in reference to the method which is called protected for an object where we have to, if you want to clone any kind of uh, abstraction actions and all everything, this clone is what usually we use. At the same time, whenever we are working on protected void, where if you want to fire any kind of property changes in reference to the uh, property changes are we making into the existing one. Wherein if you want to report any kind of uh, property changes by mentioning the property name or objective, old value, new values, if there is any values in reference to the objectives will change. All these things will be mentioned over here. Next is about object, where we have to mention about the kind of arrays of the objects, which are key for uh, the kind of values, whatever, we were setting up for uh, abstract actions or null of uh, no case uh, value sets, all that. Next, about property change uh, listeners, where if you want to return any kind of arrays or property change listeners, which are added to the abstract action, will uh, it add property changes and all other things. So, this property change listener is being used for. Followed by this, when we are going for object where we need to mention about the kind of objects what are associated with a specific key. So this get value string keys, all that will be used. Next one is called Boolean. So where uh, whenever we want to return if the actions were enabled and all, so keys enabled all that. So this Boolean will be used for. In reference to the void, where we want to set any kind of values which are associated for a specific key, whatever are we going to use. So for that put value string key, followed by object new value will be used here. So one more void can be used, which can be used to remove a change listener from the listener list. So for that, uh, because the one, what is that we have uh, used in the beginning void in reference to the proper change listeners will be for addition purpose. And this void is majorly used for the removing purpose, right? Removing any kind of uh, property change listeners and all everything is being used for this. Next void will be used to set up any kind of actions which are which are to be enabled or set enabled and all everything. So these actions will be used here. So these are the list of methods in reference to the Java, which normally we use, right? So. If you have any queries in regard to that, if you have any questions, please reach out to the contact details, which will be posted below to this video. Thank you.